traditional mince pie. I'm over it. And I'll come up with something which has everything that I love about a mince pie and more. What I've got is some pre-bought all-butter puff pastry, and I've got some phyllo pastry here as well. Bit of flour. Roll it out. Put a bit more flour on there. Who's in control here? Me yeah, I know, but no, can I put some on top That was ice as well? and sugar. That was ice and sugar. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Roll it out to about the size of a regular tea towel. It's about three millimetres thick. You get a good quality jar of mincemeat. But what I've got an opportunity to do is I can put some other things in, like the chestnuts that me and Janara have done, and some other sour fruits, like sour cranberries. Now, Clementine. And don't you think you need a bit of spice in it? It's got spice in the mincemeat. Do you need a little bit of black peppers, you know? I'm not putting black pepper in mine. Why know? not? Because we're not Italian. We don't want black pepper on our mincemeat. It's a spice, you put. But, um, roll it up into a sausage shape. So what you get is like a little twister. Then I was thinking, I want to have another texture. Right. right so I've got this phyllo pastry. And basically, I want it to cover this tray. So I'm going to lay a sheet here. And I've got some melted butter. Just dab that. I want to put it over this tray. And I want it to be about, I don't know, a couple of inches bigger. And you can be scruffy about this. Don't try and be pretty. Don't worry about this. Just hang it over. So just lay it over, roughly. Get the two ends that we're not going to use. Push them together. And just use that to gently push the phyllo pastry in, using that as a little bung. Little bit of butter around all the edges, and when it cooks, that phyllo pastry almost becomes like a little tray that it's cooked in. Get a nice handful of almonds, sprinkle them on top, and then the icing sugar. Beautiful. Mm. I put that in the oven for about 25 minutes, 30 minutes, until golden and beautiful, and that, you just wait, will be beautiful. Bravo. That phyllo pastry almost becomes like a little tray that it's cooked in. So I'm going to get some creme fraiche, Gennaro. Just put me about two tablespoons of uh, vanilla sugar in there, big boy. Two and can you grate me some uh, clementine on top? <coughs> Heat your brandy up. Just like a shot. Did you put this I did put a two tablespoon. I didn't How much clementine did you put in? I'll put them a zest of vanilla clementine inside. A whole zest or just a little bit of a clear? Well, look, I'll put all this. Listen, I know better than what you put inside here. <laughs> <laughs> just put that lovely flames and fresh in there. Just click it off, you know. For me personally, that is beautiful. And the lovely thing is, you can bespoke it, you can make it your own. This is for me, this is for you. A little bit of icing sugar. Oh, that's good. A little bit of holly. Buon Natale. Buon Natale. In Essex we say, up your bum. Up my bum. <laughs>